What's going on everyone? Today we're taking a look at something pretty exciting that just dropped. The Flux One Context Dev Model from Black Forest Labs. Now this isn't just another image generator. It's an innovative transformer model built specifically for editing images using text commands. Imagine telling an AI to change someone's shirt color or add a different background, and it just does it step by step. That's the kind of power we're talking about here. It's incredibly good at keeping things consistent, so if you're working on a character, it remembers their features across different edits. What makes this release especially great for us is that the model has been quantized into the GGUF format. In simple terms, this means it's been made much lighter, allowing it to run on both your CPU and GPU at the same time. This is a big deal because it opens the door for people with less powerful hardware to get in on the action. It's important to note, however, that it's currently under a non-commercial license, which does place some restrictions on how you decide to use the model. To make things as smooth as possible for you, I've put together a simple custom workflow for Comfy UI. It uses a lightweight GGUF version of the context model, which means you can get some really fast generations even on lower VRAM setups. I'm running it on my 6GB RTX 4050 laptop, and it generates high quality 768 by 768 images in just a few minutes. Plus, I've bundled in the Demon Detailer and Upscaler nodes to really boost the quality of your final output. You'll find a link to download the workflow down in the description. As always, I'll guide you through the complete manual setup of this new model and workflow right inside Comfy UI. We'll also go over a RunPod template I've prepared so you can run this on much faster cloud GPUs without any hassle. And for my Patreon supporters, I'm including a special one-click Windows installer that will download and set up everything you need automatically. You can find that over on my Patreon page. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great AI content. All right, let's get this set up and running. If you're one of my Patreon members and you've decided to go with the one-click Windows installer, your job is incredibly simple. All you need to do is download the Flux Context Comfy UI batch file from my page, create a new, separate folder for this project, and drop that batch file inside. Once you've done that, just double-click the file to run the installation and it will handle everything for you. It'll download and install Comfy UI, all the necessary custom nodes, and all the models, putting them exactly where they need to go within that folder. After the installer finishes its work, just start up Comfy UI. The web interface should automatically open in your default browser, usually pointing to a localhost address. All you will need to do now is load in the custom workflow from the Patreon post and you should be ready to start generating. Now for those of you doing a manual installation, you'll obviously need a working version of ComfyUI already installed. I highly recommend you also have the ComfyUI Manager node, as it makes getting the rest of the nodes for this project a whole lot easier. If you're on Windows and starting fresh, you can grab the portable ComfyUI zip file from their official repository. This package comes with everything Comfy UI needs to run. Just extract the file and its contents using an archiver like 7-zip. To get the Comfy UI Manager, open up a command terminal, navigate into your Comfy UI directory, then into the Custom Nodes folder, and from there, you'll just git clone the Comfy UI Manager repository right into that folder. Once it's cloned, if you're using that portable Windows version, navigate back to the main portable directory, the one that contains the Python embedded folder, and run the command I'm showing on the screen now. This will make sure all the required dependencies for the manager node are installed correctly. Okay, before we fire up ComfyUI, let's get our models downloaded. We'll need the Flux Context GGUF model, the T5 Clip FP8 and Clip L models, and the Flux VAE model. To get the main GGUF models, head over to the Bullerwind's Hugging Face page, I'll have the link in the description. Once you're there, go to the Files and Versions tab. You'll see a few different quantized versions of the model. Which one you choose depends on your VRAM. If you have 10 GB or more, you can probably handle the highest Q8 quant version. 
Since I'm working with my RTX 4050 and its 6GB of VRAM, I'll be downloading the 4KM Quant model for this tutorial, which in my testing still gives great quality at a reasonable speed. For the Upscaler and VAE models, just follow the link to my 2x Lexica Hugging Face page and download both models from there. We still need our two clip models, but we'll grab those from inside the Comfy UI Manager in a bit. Once you have the Flux model and the others downloaded, simply drag the Flux GGUF model into your models slash Annette folder, the Upscaler model into your models Upscale models folder, and the VAE model into your models slash V folder inside your main Comfy UI directory. And that's it for file placement. Now let's start up Comfy UI. Go ahead and download the workflow file from the link in the description and load it up. If you see a bunch of red nodes after loading the workflow, don't worry. Just go to the Comfy UI Manager button on the right and click Install Missing Custom Nodes. Go through and install any of the nodes that are missing one by one. While we're here, let's also grab those two missing clip models. In the manager, just search for clip. Find the T5 XXL FP8 encoder model and the Clip L encoder model and download them both. Be aware, the T5 model is quite large, around 5 gigabytes, so make sure you have a stable internet connection. When everything is downloaded, click the Restart button for Comfy UI to complete the installation of the new nodes. Once it reloads, check your model loader nodes. Make sure the correct models are selected for each one by clicking the drop-down arrow. The workflow has a load image node where you can upload an image to be used as a reference for your generation. When you're writing your prompt, it's best to be very descriptive about what the subject is doing in the scene. To get the most out of this model, avoid simple prompts like a girl drawing. Instead, try something much more detailed like, the girl wearing blue cargo pants is sitting on a mossy rock in a sun-dappled forest, carefully sketching a detailed leaf in her notebook. After that, you can click the Q prompt button to start generating. The model will try to place the subject from your reference image into the new scene you've described in your prompt. This workflow also includes the Demon Detailer and Upscaler nodes for improved quality, but you can disable them if you want faster generations by right-clicking on the nodes and selecting Bypass. On my RTX 4050 with 6 GB of VRAM, generations typically take a couple of minutes, with a few extra minutes for the detailing and upscaling steps. I've also set up a RunPod template in case you need more power to run this workflow faster. RunPod has a wide range of GPUs, from H100s and RTX 4090s to A100s, each with its own hourly rate. Just click the RunPod template link in the description. You'll need to create an account if you don't have one. From there, select a GPU, I'd recommend something with at least 24 GB of VRAM like an RTX 4090 for the best performance. You can edit the template storage if you need to. Just click Edit Template and adjust the container storage, then click Set Overrides. Once you're happy with your settings, hit Deploy. Your pod will begin to build, running scripts to install everything needed for the project. This process usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes. You can monitor the progress by checking the logs. When you see the final script execute and show the local URL in the terminal, you'll know it's ready. As a rule of thumb, when the storage for the template hits about 58% capacity, it's usually finished. Once it's done, click the Connect button the template includes built-in access to JupyterLab, making it easy to access ComfyUI's project files. Simply tap the JupyterLab Connect button to open the JupyterLab interface. Now you can go back to the Pods Connect service menu and tap on the ComfyUI button to open the ComfyUI interface. Now that we have ComfyUI running, all that's left is to upload the Flux Context FP8 workflow and start creating. And that's pretty much it. We've covered the setup for the new Flux Context model in Comfy UI, from the one-click installer for patrons to the manual setup and even a cloud-based run pod option for those who need extra horsepower. I hope this guide helps you get started with this incredible new tool. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.